Hello, beautiful human beings. I am here to talk about where I am in my fitness journey. Please disregard the brief intermissions of sirens. I live in the heart of downtown Vancouver, Canada, so it gets noisy down here. On my Instagram recently, I asked, um, what would you prefer, a hair update or fitness update? Fitness update one, so that is what we are going to talk about today. It's been a very long time since I've done one. September, October, November, December, January, February, six months. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Aveda. I talk about all kinds of things. Primarily, I used to talk about fitness, but I've gone off track with a lot of other things, but we're getting back on track today. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So six months ago was my last video that I posted and you can check it out here. And that's where I gave kind of an update of where I was following I did the bodybuilding competition and then I kind of was rebounding from that. And then in September of last year, I decided that I wanted to focus on something very, very different in terms of fitness goals for myself and start a bulking journey. And now if you are a long time subscriber or if you've gone through some of my older videos, I did an attempt to bulk in 2017 but that was right before I decided to then do a bodybuilding competition. So I literally only did it for maybe two months and then had to give it up. And if you're wondering what bulking is, it just generally means that you're eating in a caloric surplus. Your goal is to, to increase your overall muscle mass and to do something like that properly and healthfully, 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 just the same as it takes time to properly lose weight and lose, say, body fat in a healthy way, it also takes a lot of time to gain muscle. I decided to do a bulking journey because I've spent the last, I've spent the last, I don't know, most of my adult life striving to lose weight. I think a lot of women can relate to that. There's just never seemed to be a finish line on that journey. Uh, when I did my bodybuilding competition, I thought for sure when I hit that stage lean level that I would be like, I've done it. I've accomplished the amount of leanness that I've always seeked, but that didn't happen. So you can check out my other uh, videos about that kind of struggle that I went through. And so I decided that I really wanted to change gears, change up my, my training goals, my diet goals, and actually purposefully gain some weight because in order to gain muscle, we do need to gain weight. And I know for a lot of women, we struggle with gaining weight. I myself, of course, have also struggled with body image issues, with disordered eating issues, all kinds of things throughout my teen years, my young adult life. And so I really wanted to overcome that, confront it head on, and really focus on being a strong and healthy human over being a skinnier human. In September of last year, I, just, I started slowly on my bulking journey, which meant the first thing I did was I decreased the amount of cardiovascular exercise that I was doing. Um, it was the end of summer, so that was kind of easy to do. It was getting colder out, and I just stopped, I stopped focusing on doing cardio at the gym and just focused mostly on strength training, bodybuilding, and focusing on the amount that I was lifting and working on a progressive overload. So what that means is that you are always tracking what you're doing at the gym so that you can adjust your weights in your rep series to continually challenge yourself over a period of time. If you're always lifting the same amount and doing the same reps over and over and over, your body's gonna adapt to that and then it's not going to change, aka it's not gonna develop new muscle. So I was tracking what I was lifting at the gym. I was slowly implementing more weight or more reps over time. And then I also started slowly adding more calories to my overall caloric intake per day. And my I changed my macros a bit. So macros being your carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. When I was doing a lot of bodybuilding and, or when I was doing my competition, I, I had drastically reduced fats and carbohydrates. And I just don't wanna eat like that. I wanted something that was long-term sustainable where I could enjoy life and feel good. And so I increased my carbs and my fats and my protein. And, you know, from September until November, I was just kind of being a lot more relaxed about my diet and just really focusing on my strength at the gym. In November, I joined a CrossFit gym and I hadn't done CrossFit for many years. 
I kind of dabbled here and there throughout my life, but I've never really committed to more than say four or five months. So I started that in November. I went through the beginning classes just like everybody else because it had been a while since I'd done any of those types of workouts and it is a very technical style of training. It's very intense. So it's really important that you're doing things correctly with good form. So I did hit a bit of a rough patch around the October, November mark in terms of diet. I actually went to Mexico and got food poisoning and it was horrible. I had never really had food poisoning in my life and it's no joke. So when I got home from that trip in October, I all I ever wanted to eat was like soup and bread and like I just, my, my diet went out the window. I wasn't eating very, very much nutrient dense foods. I was eating a lot of, you know, simple carbs, high fat meals, a lot of convenience foods. I'd started a new job and, you know, it was a rough kind of to get used to a new schedule. I also, my amount of daily activity drastically changed because I used to commute to work and transit and ride my bike and do all these things. And now I could just walk to work. So I was getting a lot less exercise. Anyways, the weight started to come on the body fat and I wasn't 100% comfortable with it the entire time, but I also felt like this was an opportunity to really reconnect with myself about what really is important. One thing I really have learned is that obviously we're all our biggest self critics and no one's not gonna love you because of the way you look, especially people that already love you now. Um, and this all might seem like very obvious, but we need to talk to ourselves more or we need to have these conversations with ourselves more because I don't think we really believe it. And I wanted to let myself learn to be comfortable with whatever level of fitness I was in. Anyways, I used that as an opportunity to really refocus my goals on my strength and on my endurance and my physical capabilities in the gym. So now in terms of my diet, I'm really focused on getting back to eating a lot. <laughs> I'm really focused on getting back to eating a lot more whole foods, clean foods, real live foods. And by that, I mean the kinds of foods you see on the outside of a grocery store when you're grocery shopping. Um, rather than eating a lot of convenience foods, microwavable foods, prepackaged foods, which are the kinds of foods I, I was eating for a few months there because I just did not want to put the energy, effort, or thought into what I was eating. Pulling back from that and realizing that I felt like absolute Shit. I felt terrible. So right now I'm challenging myself just to eat cleaner, whole foods, live foods. When I go to get a snack when I'm at work, I make sure that I pick up an apple, a cucumber. I'm not big on meal prepping, so, um, cause I hate cooking and even, and I can come home for lunch. So I'm really needing to put more effort into at least purchasing easy to make food that's still nutritious. I have seen a lot of progress though since about January when I really started focusing on my diet again. Um, my training, I've been consistent about four to five days a week. I've also been really focused on having some more fun fitness goals. I'm practicing doing handstands. The goal is to do a walking handstand at some point in my life. I want to eventually achieve a muscle up. If you are in CrossFit or watch things about CrossFit, then you know what a muscle up is. I really love all the gymnastics side of CrossFit. Um, and I also entered an online competition that um, I will post more about later, but basically it's for my own personal transformation. I want, I'm giving myself a lot of time. I put an entry in, in like in January of this year and I don't have to submit my final results until June. So that gives me lots and lots of time to achieve the goals that I have have now. There are so many myths out there, especially with social media and the images that we see and even the influencers that are out there about how easy it is to gain muscle as women, how easy it is to maintain muscle as women or to achieve the super lean look that a lot of women have. But the reality is that a lot of these women are taking 
performance enhancing type of supplements. They are not all natural. Um, they maybe spend four hours a day at the gym or more. Um, this, these, some of these women, this is their full-time job to look like that. Other women, you know, there are shortcuts um, to achieve that kind of look. And it's not always the healthiest. It's important, I just wanted to share where I'm, what I'm doing right now, I am definitely, I'm definitely an all natural athlete. Um, I will never not be an all natural athlete. And I've tried very, very hard now for six months to put muscle on this body. And it is hard because I'm a very petite person. And even with more calories and even with heavier lifting, my build is only gonna get so big. So um, I definitely have a long-term plan with my, my bulking in terms of I'm willing to put in a year, two years of work to see real, real results. But I think in six months I have achieved a little something. So I will definitely continue to give you guys updates and provide some progress photos as I, as I march or as I continue on this journey. Um, but that's kind of where I am now. Please comment below what questions you have. I know this is kind of all over the place, but it's been six months, so there's been a lot going on. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you're new, please subscribe, hit the notification bell because that way you will be notified when my next video comes out. And let me know what you want to see because I'm here to put out content for you. So thank you so much. Bye.